Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm checking out another Action Force figure from Valiverse. This time it is Blowback. So Blowback was part of the special deployment wave which I think fits in between waves two and three. I paid 32 US dollars from BBTS, which is around 46 Australian dollars. Taking a look at the packaging, nice big open display. I do like this new package design that they have, these like steel sparks and fire motifs going on, action force on the side and on the back, nice big profile card. Two action points, still yet to see what we're gonna do with those, if anything. He doesn't have the cross cell here for the other characters in the wave. I guess it's because he's part of that special deployment. And then on the side, some nice artwork, blowback, SDS-01. So let's open him up and take a look. Okay, so here is Blowback out of the packaging with all of his accessories. So straight off the bat, I can tell you that he does come with a lot of accessories, most of which, however, are things we've seen before. So starting off with the rifle, very nice piece indeed. This is essentially the same rifle which we got with the infantry commando. There is some slight variations with the paint apps. I think the scope on the infantry commandos was black and maybe the clip, but other than that, it is the exact same rifle, but it is nice. It does have a removable clip and he also comes with two clips already on the figure as well. Blowback also comes with a sidearm. Again, nothing we haven't seen before, just a straightforward sidearm. Valver's still using that very sturdy plastic. I wish Hasbro would do the same. He also comes with an alternate head sculpt. Again, nothing we haven't seen before. It would be a shame in my opinion to use this sculpt because this particular sculpt which I'll get to in a moment is really nice. But it is nice to have this included and I guess you could use it for some of your other figures. The standard helm with the removable earpieces and the attachable headphone pieces. One having the comms. So again, all things that we've seen before. He also comes with his night ops, which just attach to the front. But you can have them up like that. He also comes with a complete headset. I think we've seen this maybe with Trigger. Don't know that we've seen it with any of the figures. And then he comes with a whole heap of hands. So a left and a right cradling hand. Left and a right holding hand or gripping hand. Fisted hand. And then the two trigger finger hands on the figure. He also comes with the iconic Action Force stand. So plenty of accessories. He also comes with a combat knife already sheathed on his vest. And as I said before, he comes with two additional clips as well. So nice loadout. Okay, so let's take a closer look at Blowback in hand. Starting off with that head sculpt. It's a very nice sculpt and it certainly does stick out. I think um, with the recent pictures of Falcon from the G.I. Joe classified line, Hasbro should take note to what Valiverse are doing with their head sculpts. This is very nice indeed. Paint apps are really nice too. It looks like he's got a subtle five o'clock shadow I don't know if it's just the light or if he does actually have that. On the back, he's got a buzz cut with a nice fade. So paint apps are really well done. He does have somewhat of a creepy stare. Could just be that I've been looking at him for too long, but yeah, the, <laughs> yeah it's a bit of a, a bit of a creepy vibe going on there. And the rest of the figure is essentially bits and pieces which we've seen from previous figures. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so the jacket is a repurposed jacket from the Infantry Commando. They've just swapped out the clips at the front for a field medic pack and they changed the colour. The shirt is also the same, just changed the colour as are the pants. The boots, however, are from Condor and the Steel Brigade figures. And then he does have a few bits and pieces which are unique. As I said, this is obviously unique on the front. I don't think we've seen that yet. But just behind his combat knife. So here is, um, if I'm not mistaken, that badge there is the national symbol for autism. 
so blowback uh, has um, Asperger's and that is obviously on the autism spectrum so I think that's quite a nice nod that they've included that it's almost a shame to hide it it would have been nice if it was there but I understand that's the Action Force logo so no big deal but because of that and because it's unique I don't know that I would be displaying him with his combat knife I think I'll probably just have it in his hand or just I won't have it on him at all everything else about him is essentially what we've seen before with the Action Force figures you know he has the double strapped ammo pack on the one leg and then the double strapped holster on the other on the back he does have some communications here this is nice uh, in this case it's nice because he doesn't have a backpack but it sucks if you do want to put a backpack in I'm thinking about desert rat really nice figure he comes with this real meaty backpack but you just can't get it in there because of this it's restricted so it would have been nice if this was pegged as well so you had the option you can either take that out or you just don't have this this peg hole yeah i'm not not really sure maybe not so much that one because it is nice to have that but with this in there i will not be using a backpack at all so overall the figure has a really nice look to it now in terms of articulation, I've been over these figures so many times now, I will just do a quick rundown, but it is essentially gonna be the same, it is the same book. So you get full range of motion on the peg for the head, get that much down, that much up. Butterfly joint for full range of motion at the shoulder. He does have that gap there which isn't that nice, not too bad because it isn't the flesh like we got with Trigger so you could actually just have him in a pose and it doesn't look too bad but by his sides it does look a bit unsightly. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow and then full range of motion for the wrist on the peg. He has the full rotation at the waist, rolled off hips, ab crunch to about there and then about that far back. He has the drop down legs, a little bit stiff, blast it under a hairdryer. I'll always say that with these figures, just give them a blast under the hairdryer or under the hot tap for a few seconds, just to loosen up the joints. That one is quite tight. He has a cut at the thigh, double jointed knee, boot cut, and then rocker at the ankle. So the same that we've seen before, still articulation is top notch for these figures. They don't disappoint, but as I said before, just be careful. They are super, super stiff. Even with these newer figures, they do come out of the package really, really stiff. I haven't, touch wood, broken any of mine yet, but I know that is a common issue. All right then, let's do a loadout. Okay, there we go, quite a straightforward load out. Don't really like this headset, doesn't really sit flush. Vaguely remember that with Trigger, probably gonna be better just having it. No, it's not gonna work either. That is a shame. Yeah, that is a bit of a shame. Oh well, still looks good without it. Okay, so in terms of scale, here he is next to the Action Force Infantry Trooper. Here he is next to the classified Duster. And finally, here he is next to Kit Bashed Gung Ho.
Okay, so my final thoughts on the Action Force blowback from Valiverse. This is yet another example of a solid entry into the Action Force line. Valiverse certainly don't disappoint when it comes to their action figures. And with blowback representing someone on the autism spectrum and Wave 3 consisting exclusively of female characters, the Action Force line is also one of the most diverse toy lines available. There are, however, a few negatives. Everything in terms of articulation, the overall look, the accessories are all top notch. But it's the reuse that's a little bit disappointing here. We're like seeing that time and time again. And I do think it's just because they're quite heavy on the Action Force side of things. And what I mean by that, we haven't seen a new entry for the Garrison line or the Swarm line in quite some time. Really keen to see some new entries in those two factions. I know that Pandora is, I think she's in the Garrison. I doubt she's in the Swarm. So I'm really looking forward to getting that figure. Also with the female waves, brand new books, brand new tooling. So maybe that gripe will go away once I get those. But overall, this is a great figure and definitely one you should add to your collection. So I certainly hope that you've liked this review and if you like my content then please do consider giving this video a like and subscribing. And until next time, take care.